Hi, I'm Size. Today I have a great video for you. I'm super excited to show you this new technology that quite literally just dropped. This is going to be a game changing technique for anybody that wants to record in any setting, but also for people who want to record and quite and can't quite afford a microphone or a high tech microphone at this time. Pretty much all you need is your phone. Something I must say is that this update is for the newest phone. So I think we're on iPhone 16. I just got it. I really like it. It's amazing. Yes, it's expensive, but I run my whole business on this phone. I mean, I have everything I need to run my business on my iPhone. You have a great camera, which is great for us content creators. You have a great microphone, which is great for us music producers. And I'm going to even show you this new trick that's going to blow your mind. At least it's blown my mind. And this is really one of the reasons why I love Apple so much is that they are truly investing so much time and money into making music production more accessible to more people. And that is my mission, right? Is to make music production and entrepreneurship more accessible to more people. And having Apple and all the Apple products and how everything syncs up and how it organizes all of your content and photos and you can quickly streamline. I mean, I can copy and paste from my phone to my computer. So just as a business owner and a music producer, yeah, the list just goes on and on on why I love Apple so much. And to be honest, I really owe Apple my career if we're really getting serious. I mean, I've made a book, an ebook on their product. And yeah, I love Apple. I know I drank the Kool-Aid. I love it. Moving on, here is the new trick that is going to blow your mind. So if you have the newest iPhone and you've updated to the newest operating system, Sequoia 15.2. If you open up voice memos on your phone, I'm gonna go to my favorites tab, and then you play what you wanna to sing to, I'm gonna even just play my track, and then I'm gonna record my vocals into here. Check it out. Okay, I'm gonna hit record. I wanna soak you up Wash the pain away I want to feel your touch I want you to beg me to stay Okay, so now the cool thing is, is if you hit those buttons and select edit recording, now you can click these little quotations in the bottom left and it'll actually transcribe your voice memo for you which is so awesome because if you're like me and you record thousands of voice memos you can now figure out like what's what you're saying you can just copy and paste your lyrics you can even do like copy transcription and then just put it right into your notes app which is amazing now also if i want to edit recording if i click this plus sign here I can record another layer. So I can move it to where I want it to do and let me try to sing some harmonies. I want to soak you up Wash the pain away And I didn't like how I hit that first note so I can just move it back and then hit replace. Wash the pain away Okay, great! Now I could even click done, save recording, go back, do edit recording again. Now I can click these little buttons at the top. I could enhance the recording. I could adjust the mix of the layers. So if I want layer one to be louder or layer two, I can skip silence, which is really helpful. And you can even adjust the playback speed. Then I can label it. I'm gonna call this mean it. That's the name of this song. And then do done. And now here's the really cool part. If I jump into my computer and I s search voice memos, have this pop up. You can see it's right here, the track I made, Mean It. And I could drag it right into my logic project, select create new tracks, and there they are. Now, I've already recorded some of these vocals, so I know where to line it up. So I'm just going to align it up, and we can take a listen to these. 
I want to soak you up. Okay, so obviously the track is still in there. And I wanted to do that on purpose because I wanted to show you how cool this is. So you can go option. So if you select control click or right click on it and then select stem splitter and then unselect every single thing except for vocals and then do split, then I can actually delete that. And here's what it sounds like. I want to soak you up, wash the pain away. Not bad at all for an iPhone. So let me do it with this one too. Control click, stem splitter. I can now delete this one. Let me properly line it up with my track. And here is what it sounds like. I want to soak you up. Wash the pain away. I want to feel your touch. I want you to beg me to stay. Pretty cool. Not bad for an iPhone if I must say so myself. So one other thing to note is when you are recording on your iPhone, you wanna make sure you set the audio quality to lossless. Lossless audio preserves the original sound data so it won't be degraded by compression. So I think it is super cool that nowadays all you need to record your vocals is with an iPhone. Think about the capabilities of if you're a guitar player and how you could record guitar and vocals separately with just your iPhone on voice memos. I do believe this is the future and I really love Apple for, like I said, putting so much time and money into making music production more accessible to more people. You can also do this on your voice memos on your iPad. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope this was helpful. Please subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments and what I should make a video on next.